and the Stutters for our first race in this cold Saturday afternoon, January 27th program. Eight dashes in all, this is our first race. He's a rambling man, and Jill Barrio, Tiger Trouble, and Lonnie Stokes. Island Zane, Rick Armstrong, Tisha's Pit Pony, Steve Mahar, Emerald Corker, Sam Hodgen, and Roll Along Cash, and John Davidson outside six. Field of six here to kick things off this afternoon. Here they come. They are off and pacing the Philly Tiger Trouble going out for the lead. Then Island Zane gets away racing in second around the turn. And Tiger Trouble a bit rough around the turn. And Lonnie Stokes trying to get her set back on the pace. And she is now still leading. Then Island Zane second racing third. Tisha's Pit Pony then gapped out two more lengths to He's a Ramblin' Man sitting back in fourth. Then racing fifth Emerald Corker. And roll along cash can see them all as they roll along to the opening quarter, led by Tiger Trouble. Leading by a length and a half by that opening quarter, 32 and 4. That opening quarter for Tiger Trouble, out a length and a half still. In the pocket, Island Zane enjoying a nice trip. Then Tisha's Pit Pony third. He's a rambling man looking to grab some cover. And here comes Tisha's Pit Pony. And Barrio now will have some cover to work with. With he's a rambling man from fourth. Then racing fifth inside is Emerald Corker. And trailing the field at the back is Roll Along Cash. But moving the opening half, 105 as they race around the turn. And Tiger Trouble. And that turn, certainly trouble for her today. And again, a bit rough around the turn. And that gives Tisha's Pit Pony a jump on the leader now and takes the lead. Then second is still Tiger Trouble. And also on the run in the backfield, he's a rambling man as they drive on to the three quarters. And Mahar and Tisha's Pit Pony has taken over. Then Tiger Trouble back to second. Island Zane. Racing third on the outside, 136 and 1, 31 and 1, third quarter for Tisha's Pit Pony and Mahar with a length and a half lead. Tiger Trouble, then it's Island Zane, roll along cash back to the two trailers, Emerald Corker, and out of this one after the break, he's a rambling man down the lane, and it's all Tisha's Pit Pony. Tiger Trouble is coming on again in deep stretch, and Tiger Trouble on the outside comes back on to win. It, but we do remind you the inquiry sign is up 207 and 4 mile. And the stutters for our first race are at the gate, and the gate is moving. Second race, second race starters. And we got Mega Rose and Joe Barrio, UK Bluegrass, and Steve Mahar, Ed, Ed and Eddie, with Mark Hag talking about my boy and Todd Trites, Arctic Spur, and Sam Hodgen. Your outside entry from post six, consider me lucky. And John Davidson, six across, here they come. They're off and pacing Mega Rose, but talking about my boy gets away strong to the outside. And Arctic Spur as well. She's leaving off the gate strong and looking for the two hole now and gets there. Then racing back in third, Mega Rose. Fourth on the inside is UK Bluegrass. And backing off Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Consider me lucky trails the field. And Trites has set up shop with talking about my boy on the front end with Arctic Spur riding in the pocket trip second. Mega Rose sits back in third. UK Bluegrass is fourth. 31 and 3 the opening quarter. Then Ed, Ed, and Eddie is out and rolling from fifth and trailing six. Consider me lucky as the field moves to the 3 8 pole. Led again by talking about my boy. A length and a quarter lead. Arctic Spur right there second. Then locked in on the inside third. And that's Mega Rose on the outside. Ed, Ed, and Eddie is first up and driving. And here comes Arctic Spur. And she's shown her toughness over previous weeks. And here she comes again. She's going to come first up. At talking about my boy, the half 104. And two as they round the paddock turn. Talking about my boy, Arctic.
Dick Spur on the outside second, Ed, Ed, and Eddie third. Then Mega Rose has some inside track to work with, but she's gapped out fourth. Then racing fifth, UK Bluegrass. And back to the trailer, Consider Me Lucky. On to the three quarters they go, talking about my boy. And Rockin' Todd still with a slight lead over Arctic Spur. Then right there, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, three quarters. In 135 and 4 as they round the turn. Talking about my boy digging in his heels. And he's out again by a half length. Racing second, Arctic Spur. Then on the outside, Ed, Ed, and Eddie Mega Rose not firing today. And she's back in fourth. Way outside, here comes UK Bluegrass, an eighth to go. And it's talking about my boy. And Rockin' Todd is going to take this one gate to wire. Talking about my boy. In for second, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. And in for third, Arctic Spur, another tough race for her, and she hangs on for third. Time for the mile, 2.07. Six-year-old son of Armbro Emerson, out of the big towner mare, Rhett Say Hanover. Oh, my Kevin Brown of St. John, who does the training, Todd Trites in the driver's seat. And a nice win for talking about my boy, a gate-to-wire effort here today with the mile in 2.07. Talking about my boy and Todd Trites winning his first of the campaign and the mile in 2.07. And the starters for the third race are at the gate. And the gate is moving and approaching top of the stretch. Lucky Northern Star as the inside post for Mark Hag. Charlotte's Bonnie from post two, Jill Barrio. Future Secret, leaving three for Mike Stevenson, Bob Weiser, and Lonnie Stokes. Then we have Memories of Love, and Ed Harvey, and Cam Boat Time, and John Davidson. Six across, here they come. They're off, and Bob Weiser chases the gate out of there, and he's got the lead. Lucky Northern Star will follow behind him second. That's Future Secret on a break in the backfield as they drive to the opening eighth. Bob Weiser out by about six and making it more. Lucky Northern Star, Charlotte's Monty follows up in third. Then Memories of Love fourth, followed by Cambo Time. Future Secret back on the pace as they drive to the opening quarter. And up top and cutting it, it's all Bob Weiser and Stokes sitting up in the bike, 28 and 4. That opening quarter, Bob Weiser, then Lucky Northern Star and racing third, Charlotte's Monty. Memories of Love sits back and is racing in fourth. Then Cambo Time follows it up in fifth and trailing Future Secret still after the early break as they come off the turn and should say he comes off the turn and it's Bob Weiser. Out by a dozen, Charlotte's Monty on the outside. He's getting in gear. Then Lucky Northern Star staying with him. Then Memories of Love, Cambo Time, and Future Secret the half in 59 and 3. As they round the paddock turn, Bob Weiser, Lucky Northern Star, Charlotte's Monty back inside now and back in third. Memories of Love and Ed Harvey moving off the cones now from fourth. Then racing fifth up the backside, that is Cambo time. And racing out of it now, Future Secret onto the three quarters. And Bob Weiser starting to let go here. And he is finished, racing second. Lucky Northern Star, 133 and three. Bob Weiser, but not for long. They're pouncing on him. Lucky Northern Star now takes the lead. Charlotte's Monty on the outside. Bob Weiser is still right there. Sandwiched in between them is Eddie Spaghetti in Memories of Love. Looking for a racing room. An eighth to go. Cambo time is right there as well. Five of them right here. And Lucky Northern Star's got the lead in deep stretch. Up on the inside. Cambo time. But it's going to be Lucky Northern Star winning this one. Cambo time was second. Mile and two, oh seven and one. Lucky Northern Star. Bogmare, Bonville, Hanover. Owned by Roger Nelson. Trained by Andrew Ward. Mark Hag in the driver's seat for Lucky Northern Star. She breaks the goose egg today, and it's her first of the season. And the mile this afternoon, 2.07 and 1. Lucky Northern Star and the Hagler. 
Delivering here. If you check the tote board, no win tickets sold on Lucky Northern Star. No win tickets sold. And it appears the Mutuals will likely pay on Cambo time at 1470. And the stutters for the fourth race. Approaching top of the stretch. Giz Can Do and John Davidson. Cole J. Commando, Mike Stevenson. Laura's Lease and Lonnie Stokes. Ty's Power, Mark Hag. J.R. Blue Chip, Rick Armstrong. Breaking Free and Jill Barriel. And outside Milt and Todd Trites. Seven across the gate this time around for our fourth race. Here they come. They're off and pacing Ty's Power going for the early lead. Up on the outside and breaking free and to the inside Giz can do, but Ty's Power no problemo. And he has got the lead. Racing second, Giz can do, breaking free, drops in now, racing third, then racing fourth. That's Cole J. Commando. Back on the inside to fifth. That's J.R. Blue Chip. Then it's Milt then trailing the field. Laura's lease appears to be pulling up as they race by the opening quarter. Ties power in commanding form early the opening quarter. 31 seconds even. Ties power. Then Giz can do riding in the pocket trip second. Gapped out two more to breaking free third. Then come J Cole J. Commando sits back in fourth. Racing fifth. J.R. Blue Chip. And then it's Milt. And as we mentioned, Laura's lease is pulling up through the stretch, racing to the half, led by Ty's Power and the Hagler. Racing second, uptight Giz can do. Then breaking free, sits back in third. They were by the half in 102 and four as they round the turn. Ty's Power still leading. Giz can do second, breaking free. Looking to angle out, and Barrio now pulls on the right line, and he's going out from third. Then racing fourth, Cole J. Commando. Inside, Milt has some real estate to work with, and Trites is going to take him up the inside lane. And breaking free, pouncing from third. Ty's power has it, breaking free. On the outside, second, three quarters, one. 34 and 3 ties power again looking strong on the lead breaking free is going to try him and Giz can do has had a great trip right there third but it's ties power the clearly the one to beat breaking free second on the outside then racing third Giz can do ties power hanging on breaking free coming on again but it's going to be ties power second straight for ties power second straight on the card for the head Hagler, and the mile quickest of the day, 204 and 2. Big trip again, Ty's Power. The mile, the quickest of the day, 204 and 2. And back with his second driving win in the afternoon and second straight for Ty's Powers. Mark Hag parades back the son of... Scoot to power. He's a nine-year-old out of the most happy fellow mare, Sarah Jean, Oma Gordon White, Katie Shepard, trained by Chris Davies, who continues to rack up the wins here at Exhibition Park. And Ty's Power wins his second straight this afternoon. And it's his fastest of the season. A mile 204 and two. Ty's Power, quickest of the afternoon, quickest of the season for him, 204 and two. Congratulations. And the starters for our fifth race, top of the stretch. Ari's Donna, Jill Barrio, Educated, and Steve Mahar, Salzbrook Dandy. Right in the middle of the racetrack, and he scores for Todd Trites. Night Stalker, four for Mike Downey, and Rapid Kane gets the outside post today for driver John Davidson. Five across, and here they come. They're off and pacing Rapid Kane, firing up on the outside. He'll have Educated, though, going for it to the inside of him as they round the turn, and Educated 
moves out with a two-length lead. Rapid Kane second, our East Donna racing third, then Salzbrook Dandy fourth, and trailing the field is Night Stalker as they straighten into the back stretch. And Steve Mahar in controlling fashion early on with Educated out by a pair. Rapid Kane second. Another gap of two to Aries Donna in third. Another gap of two more to Salzbrook Dandy back in fourth. And trailing fifth, Night Stalker 31 and two. That opening quarter up for Educated out by still a pair. Rapid Kane is second. Aries Donna still sits in. She's gapped out two more in third and make it four to Salzbrook Dandy in trailing fifth. Night Stalker single file order as they come through the stretch. Racing to the half mile point led by Educated. Rapid Kane, the perfect pocket journey second. Our Ease Donna racing back in third. Salzbrook Dandy is fourth, the half in 104. And Night Stalker can see them all as they race around the paddock turn. Led still by Educated. Then second, Rapid Kane. There goes our Ease Donna. And Barrio tugs on the right line, and she's out and moving and driving quickly from third. And now second, educated. She's going to be tough to beat, though. She's got Aries Donna coming to call second. Rapid Kane third. Salzbrook Dandy fourth. And Night Stalker fifth. On to the three quarters and by that marker. And Aries Donna has now drawn clear to educated. Now educated is now second as Aries Donna moves out by a length and a half. Educated second, then racing third. Now Salzbrook Dandy, Rapid Kane, and Night Stalker in eighth to go, and it's Aries Donna. R.E.'s Donna clear by about three lengths. Educated second, Salzbrook Dandy. Night Stalker late pace, but it's going to be R.E.'s Donna. An easy winner here. R.E.'s Donna wins it. An educated second, and Night Stalker and Rapid Kane right there for third and fourth, and Salzbrook Dandy rounding out the field. Mile and two, oh, four and two, and that equals the fastest mile of the day. Back to the winner circle, the winner of race number five, number one, our E's Donna, seven-year-old drop-off mare, the Loris Fella mare, our E's Cloud, owned and trained by Charlie Price, Jill Berrio in the driver's seat, our E's Donna picks up her first from four starts this season, and this afternoon equaling the fastest mile of the day, 204 and two, our E's Donna delivering as the slight post-time favorite here, and she wins in 204 and two, congratulations. Starters moving in here in race six. Last chance at the mutual. Starters moving in. And we have a full field this time around. Phillies and mares claiming pace. $2,500 claimers. We have Funday Bay and Mike Downey. Woodmere Cold Us, Mike Stevenson, Goddess Sabra, Mark Hag, Arcane Agent. Jill Barrio, Dusty Lane Lass, Rick Armstrong, Trudy's Future, and Steve Mahar, Wild Cherry, Todd Trites, and outside, Promises, Promises, John Davidson, eight across. Here they come. Off and pacing, and that's Monday Bay. Out for the early lead, being challenged early, though, from way outside as Wild Cherry leaves the gate well for Rock and Todd, and she drops in the pocket. Then racing third, Woodmere Cold Dust, Promises, Promises. She got away nicely, too, from post eight. And she's nestled in the fourth. And racing fifth, Goddess Sabra, Arcane Agent, takes back early. Then it's back to the two trailers, Dusty Lane Lass. And trailing the field, Trudy's Future. And the eight mares are strung out single file. Past the opening quarter, led by Mike Downey and Funday Bay, a 30-3 and three opener. Then Wild Cherry rides the pocket in second. Racing third, Woodmere Cold Dust, then Promises, Promises. Arcane Agent gets into gear, and she's moving on the outside. And Rock and Todd looking to move early here with Wild Cherry from the pocket as they come through the stretch, racing to the half, and neck and neck for the lead now. Fun Day Bay, Wild Cherry. Then Woodmere Cold Dust, Arcane Agent on the outside, coming on to fourth. Then Promises, Promises has fifth. Trudy's future now six the half one no one and three moving right along here and the two trailers back of the bus are Goddess Sabra and Dusty Lane Lass and up front action we go again and up front and cutting it still Fun Day Bay Wild Cherry outside racing second 
Wood, Mirror, Cold, Dust, third. Promises, Promises is fourth. Arcane Agent stalled fifth. Trudy's Future, sixth. By the three quarters, 132 and four. Trites looking for his second win of the program, and he's got the lead now with Wild Cherry. Fun Day Bay trying to fight back. Then on the inside, Promises, Promises. Now comes to third with an eighth of a mile to go, and they're in deep stretch. Wild Cherry moving out. Wild Cherry, Fun Day Bay, Woodmere, Coal Dust has late pace. Promises, Promises. A broken head pull finishing, but it's going to be Wild Cherry winning it. In for second, Fun Day Bay. And for third, Wood, Mirror, Coal Dust. And the time for the mile, 2.03 and 3. And that now, the quickest of the day. 2.03 and 3 win for Wild Cherry. Back to the winner circle. Winner of race number six, number seven, Wild Cherry, a six year old daughter. Of Chill Factor, out of the Big Towner Mayor, Lowella Hanover, owned by Terry Price. Trained by Charlie Price, Todd Trites. Scoring with the Mayor for the second time in three weeks. And Wild Cherry victorious today and equals her season's best mile of 2.03 and 3. And she's starting off where she left off last year. 14 wins last year. One of our leading claiming horses on the grounds. And she is four for four, hitting the top two this season. She equals her best win of the year, 203 and three, and two wins for driver Todd Trites this afternoon, winning earlier on the program with Talking Boat My Boy. And the Stutters Four, our seventh race, top class of the day behind the gate. With a field of six, Ryan's Fancy scores the inside post for Todd Trites. Holiday Moon from post two, Sam Hodgen. Bert and Bert and Mike Stevenson. Katahdin Country, Mark Hag. Victory.com, Steve Mahar, and no apology. Mike Downey, six across, and here they come. They are off and pacing Bert and Bert out for the early lead. Up on the inside, though. Ryan's fence, he's going with him, and he's got the lead around the turn. Bert and Bert wants it, though, and Stevenson still outside. Then racing third, Katahdin Country, Victory.com got away. Racing fourth, no apology, fifth. And Holiday Moon takes a back seat as they straighten into the back stretch. And Trites wanted the front, and he's got it from the inside post, and he's on top. Bert and Bert is racing second. Then racing third, Katahdin Country, 30 seconds even. That opening quarter, then on the inside, victory.com sits back early in fourth, then racing fifth, now no apology, and trailing Holiday Moon, and Bert and Bert comes out to challenge now. He's off the pylons a bit as they come off the turn. Here comes Katahdin Country out from third through the stretch to the half, Ryan's Fancy. Bert and Bird under a tight line second on the outside third. That's Katahdin Country giving victory.com perfect cover from fourth to half 102. Then it's no apology fifth and Holiday Moon can see them all as they race around the paddock turn. Led still by Ryan's fancy Bert and Bert second. Outside driving third Katahdin Country. Then right behind him victory.com. No apology. No racing room for him right now. And trailing the field Holiday Moon as they race on to the three quarters. And there goes victory.com. Mahar pulls the plug and he's out three wide. Driving up after the leader three quarters. 133. And four around the turn, Ryan's fancy, Bert and Bert is second. He's going to have a chance here, and here he comes from the pocket. Ryan's fancy, Bert and Bert. He's got a great stretch kick, and here, stretch kick, and here he comes now, and he's already got the lead. Bert and Bert, Ryan's fancy inside, outside, victory.com. Bert and Bert, though, is going to win it just by a slim margin, though. Wins it by half a head over Ryan's fancy. And victory.com, the mile 204 and 3. Bert and Bird is second straight, and Stevenson wins it 204 and 3.
And returning to the winner's circle, winner of race seven, or top class of the day, goes to three, Bert and Bert. Five-year-old son of Liz Ryan out of the Big Towner Mare, Battletown Bow. Home by Doug and Ron Hildebrand, trained by Chris Davies. Chris's second win of the afternoon. And Mike Stevenson aboard this time around. And Bert and Bert wins his second from four starts this season. And the mile 204 and three. And that's the season's best for the solid pacer, Bert and Bert. Again, second win of the day for trainer Chris Davies. So congratulations, Bert and Bert, scoring here in our top class of the day. Mile 204 and 3 for driver Mike Stevenson. Stutters for our final eighth race at the gate. And the gate is moving and approaching top of the stretch. Skill Factor has the inside post, Mike Downey. Action Raider right next door for Gil Barrio. Speed Indeed, Mark Hag. Then we have Big V and Sam Hodgen. Twin B Casino moves into post five. Steve Mahar, my buddy Mark, and Mike Stevenson from six. And come on, Scoot from seven and Todd Trites. Here they come. They are off a good start here. My buddy Mark busting out for it. So is Big V. And along the pylon, skill factor around the turn. And they're three wide around that turn. Then getting away, fourth action, Raider. Outside, come on, Scoot. He's parked, looking for a spot in fifth. Racing sixth on the inside, speed indeed. And trailing the field in the backfield, Twin B Casino. And a battle brewing up front. My buddy Mark on the outside will take the lead now. Skill Factor relinquishes now, racing and is racing in the pocket. 29 and 3, opener. And up front, my buddy Mark, Skill Factor second. Big V is racing back in third. Come on, Scoot found a home at the pylons now. He is fourth on the outside. Here comes Action Raider. Then it's back to the two trailers, and they are speed indeed. Twin B Casino can still see them all through the stretch to the half. My buddy Mark cutting a quick one here. Racing second outside. Action Raider Skill Factor has a nice trip to the half. 101 and one. Then speed indeed. He's covered up nicely. And moving from fourth, Big V is locked in. Then come on, Scoot and Twin B Casino. Just not into it so far as they hit the 5 8 pole. Led by my buddy Mark, Skill Factor is racing second down. He keeps him in on the outside, driving up. Here comes Speed indeed, and he's got a quick brush. And the Hagler's going to use it right now. On the outside, Speed indeed, my buddy Mark, Skill Factor, by the three quarters, 133 and one. Then it's Action Raider, my buddy Mark, though, fighting back. And he's showing his grit here and coming back on. Then Speed Indeed second. Here comes Skill Factor. And he's got a shot now as Downey tips him out three wide for the drive. Speed Indeed has the lead. Skill Factor on the outside coming on. Deep stretch. Speed Indeed. And Skill Factor, Speed Indeed is going to win it. That's a triple. For the Hagler today, Skill Factor gets the deuce. Time for the mile, 203 and three, a driving triple for Mark Hag. And back with his third driving win of the afternoon, driver Mark Hag, this time aboard number three, Speed Indeed. Five-year-old son of lightning speed of the Albatross mare, Norrell. Owned by Deborah Kirkpatrick and Serge Cormier, trained by Debbie. Mark Hag aboard. It's his second win from four starts. And coming off a great year last season, one of the most improved horses on the grounds, for sure, last season here at Exhibition Park Raceway. And he's off to a good start in 2007. As mentioned, two for four on the year. And the Hagler scores a driving triple, completing it here in the final with speed indeed. And the time for the mile here in the eighth and final, 2.03 and three.